In today's video I will show you how to care for your brushes and keep them perfectly pointy. Hey guys, I'm Zoltan and you are watching Phalanx Miniatures. Proper brush maintenance is absolutely crucial for maintaining the quality of your brushes but also for you to be able to paint to the best of your abilities. It doesn't really matter how good you are or what cool techniques you are using, as long as you don't have a nice pointy brush, your mini will never look as good as you want it to. So let's get started. Okay, let's assume that you start your painting session with a nice, clean and pointy brush. Later in this video I will talk about how you can make sure that your brush is stored properly and is ready to go for the next painting session, but for now let's just assume that you did the right thing and it is in perfect shape when you start painting. Your number one task, aside from painting the mini of course, is to keep that brush in as close to perfect shape as possible while painting and don't let the point deform for any length of time. And that starts by loading your brush. Whenever you do that, you should always use a twisting motion on the wet palette to shape it into a perfect point. But as soon as the brush starts losing the point because paint accumulates and dries in the bristles, you need to do a quick cleaning cycle. Rinse the brush in your cup or mug. You don't need a fancy tool for this. A simple mug with water is perfect. Just don't put your coffee mug too close to it to avoid unfortunate mistakes. Rinse all the paint out of the brush by swirling it around a bit. You can tap the ferrule of the brush against the side of the mug to help to get the paint out, but never ever push the bristles against the side and especially don't squish the bristles against the bottom of the mug. That will ruin the brush for sure and a little fairy will die somewhere every time you do that. Once it's reasonably clean, remove most of the water from the bristles on a paper towel and shape the bristles into a point on your palm like this. And please don't lick your brush, it's disgusting and I know that acrylic paint is not supposed to be toxic, but it's probably also not very good for you, so just stick with your palm. Once it is nice and pointy, you can start painting again. If you want to switch to another paint while using the same brush, you should always do a full cleaning cycle as well and only start with the new paint with a totally clean brush. Okay, but what happens if you need to take a break or you need to change to a different brush? If you know that you're not going to use the brush for a while and it's gonna have enough time to dry, you have to make sure that you put it down in the right way, otherwise in 10-15 minutes it's gonna look like an old broom. Do the whole cleaning cycle as usual, but before putting down the brush, also apply some brush soap. I have been using this one that I got for 2 euros in my local art shop and it has served me perfectly well, but you can also get fancier ones if you want, like this one that came with some of my artist opus brushes. Make sure that you really get the soap in there and then you can gently work it into the bristles with your fingers as well. This only takes half a minute but the brush will be much cleaner than with just using water. After this I give it another quick rinse in the mug and get some more soap on it, but this time I will leave the soap on the bristles. With the soap on I use my palm as usual to shape the bristles into a nice pointy end and leave it like that. It is very important to leave the soap on the bristles when you put it down. It doesn't matter how well you clean the brush, if you did it only with water, it will lose its shape while drying and will look like an old broom again. When it's clean and pointy, put down the brush horizontally on your table until you need it again. I usually just put it next to my wet palette in easy reach. I wouldn't recommend storing them vertically like this because the water can dry in the ferrule and any paint that would be still remaining after the cleaning would be deposited there as well. Better save them sorry and store them horizontally like this until they are fully dry. When I'm finished with a project and I know that I won't be using my brushes for a while, before putting them away I really clean them well, make sure that I apply the brush soap and shape them and then I put them to dry horizontally. Once they are fully dry, I will put on the little plastic caps they came with for protecting the points and then I put them back into my brush holder. Storing them vertically is perfectly fine when they are dry. A couple of things to remember before we finish this. If there is only one thing that you take away from this video, then let it be that you should never let your brush dry with paint on it and you should always take like 20 seconds to rinse and shape it before you put it down, even if it's just for a couple of minutes. Please don't store your brushes in the mug with the bristles down in the water. I've seen some people do this and it just fills me with dread and disgust. Please just, just don't. A lot of people will tell you that you cannot let paint get into the ferrule of the brush and that's just BS. You cannot prevent it, it's gonna happen and it's completely fine as long as you don't let it dry there. And last but definitely not least, always shape your brushes. The less time the bristles spend in a non-pointy shape, the better. And there you have it, that's how you keep your brushes in top form. Do these things and your brushes will serve you for a long time. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you found it useful and if you did, please consider giving it a like and subscribe. See you in the next one.